Wildman Steve Brill's Forging Tour is one of the most interesting and awesome experiences I've ever had in New York City. I'm pretty sure I'll never see Central Park this same way again. Even Leo and I joked about how we now view Central Park as a salad bar. So in addition to our Wild Greens Pesto episode, I want to share with you some extra footage from the tour and an interview with Wildman himself. Hey, hey, hey! Tasty memory! An important part of the tour was learning what you can and cannot eat so that you won't die. That was a poisonous berry. Stay away from it. It's dangerous. So when we find something, we need to look at it very carefully. Does it have leaves and twos? Is there a fungus growing on top? What does it smell like? Oh, stinkweed. Bury it. <laughs> I've spent a lot of time in Central Park in my life, but never explored the park quite like this. These are called the tea. Will you stop that? These are called. Bite you. Ah. Quite good. It has teeth pointing toward the tip of the plant. Some of the leaves almost have lobes. Like, and they have that flower. Yeah, and at the top looks like a bottle brush. What is that? Uh, that would. Yeah, yes, and the seeds. This one can even be used as a thickener in soups or stews. Just be careful that you don't get poison ivy instead. I also really enjoyed how much the kids loved the tour. Take one in each hand. Ooh. Ah, there comes an elephant. <laughs> Sometimes you have to work a little bit to get the best treats. And sometimes you need a little teamwork. I use this baby to make some homemade root beer. I'm a naturalist, environmental educator, author, and app creator. I teach people about foraging. Renewable resources that most people don't know about. Herbs, greens, berries, nuts, seeds, roots, mushrooms, seaweeds, things you can collect where they're tremendously abundant with zero environmental impact that are very, very tasty, very nutritious, and tremendous fun to cook with. I got into this through an interest in cooking originally just to feed myself a recipe from the side of an oatmeal box and it developed into a career. I lead public tours throughout the greater New York area and the Northeast. I work with schools, garden clubs, birthday parties, scouts, museums, nature centers, and even parks departments. I was hungry. I went into the kitchen. There was a carton of oatmeal. I did the recipe on the side. The cookies were so good that I graduated to the raisin box. Eventually, I found my way into the public library and started experimenting with, uh, with food and cooking and recipes. I especially like creating vegan whole foods versions of stuff that's normally loaded with animal fats and uh, refined simple carbohydrates. I was bicycle riding in a period of experimentation, going to ethnic stores and trying out ingredients that I couldn't find in the cookbooks. This was back before the internet. This was in the, in the mid-70s and there were ethnic Greek women dressed in black picking stuff in one of the parks. They were collecting grape leaves, but I couldn't understand a word they said. It was all Greek to me. However, I came home with the grape leaves. I stuffed them, and they were wonderful. I started finding books about foraging, mostly written by academic botanists using third-hand information who did not know a thing about cooking and even less about foraging. So there were a lot of mistakes and inaccuracies, but I slowly managed to learn and managed not to poison myself. I started leading foraging tours back in 1982, and I've been doing that ever since. Oh, there are so many things. There's a berry called the June berry, which is very, very dangerous. You eat it, it tastes so good, you die of happiness. And uh, I like making Juneberry ice cream, but I, I have hundreds of recipes. I have a wild vegan cookbook with 500 of them. I'll be coming out with a wild vegan recipe app uh, very soon. I've got a wild edibles app with uh, lots of recipes and every bit of information you can get 
about edible wild plants, get the books from my website, wildmansteveGrill.com. If you get it from the publishing industry, they get all but a few pennies of the money. And the app Wild Edibles by Wild Man Steve Grill, you can get from the iTunes store or the Android marketplace. It was a pleasure meeting Steve and joining his tour. He definitely motivated me to explore more of New York City's parks to forge my next meal.